Morning internet, well it's uh, quite a sunny day in the garden today so I thought I'd sit out here and just give you a bit of an update um, about recent events. Um, obviously the car is a big one, I'll come on to that in a minute, um, but just to kind of update you what's happened lately. So I have been quite poorly, which is why the content of the channel has changed a bit. Um, all the drone footage, I'd never intended to actually put that up. Um, that was just me testing the drone uh, some months ago. Um, but um, obviously I didn't have anything to, to record. I wasn't fit to record anything. So I decided to put that together. Some people liked it. So thanks for watching. Um, so I pretty much have been out of action for the last three weeks. I've been off work. I've been in bed most of the time. Um, I got initially a really bad hacking coldy flu type thing um really coughing all the time and it went around the family um which for me lasted about two weeks but for them only lasted like a week um so it makes no rhyme or reason at all but the, the cough was horrendous you know really you know what it's like when you've got a hacking cough it just gets you down anyway with that i got a an inner ear infection um, and that actually spread to both ears. Um, I was piled up with antibiotics and everything. I uh, was dizzy all the time. I couldn't stand up most of the time. Um, just, uh, I was just a mess. Couldn't do anything. Um, and I was constantly dizzy. And it was that dizziness where, if you've had vertigo before, and I, I've had it a couple of times, where the room just spins, like you've had 17 pints. Absolutely horrible, really was. Um, so that put me out of action. Um, with that, my blood pressure went up as well. So I was, I was in the right state, <laughs> was for me age. Um, I'm kind of getting over it now. I'm not 100%, but I'm okay. Um, back to work soon. Uh, and work have been really good. Um, so thank them for that. Um, but the work will be piling up because the job I do is mainly dependent on what I do. And it's a job that and nobody else knows really which is crazy i know but there you go well destroying the place but anyway that's the way it is right the car which i know most people have tuned in to, to hear about so no i haven't got it back um that's the spoiler alert um but i did have a good conversation yesterday with a guy pc trevor craig i believe his name was and he gave me some good updates also we are on a chat forum uh, for the local area and it seems there's a couple of people that uh, were affected by this so there was one guy who contacted me um, from the post i put up he owned and i say owned um, a mercedes that was stolen and that was about a mile the other way um there's somebody virtually over the road that caught a lot of activity on their ring doorbell uh, of people walking about and then they saw a black car and a white car now the mercedes was gray mine was dark blue black um going past their area at speed so they obviously saw it over there um some other poor bugger got his mercedes stolen as well but uh, what uh, pc trevor with trevor craig was saying was my car was driven to Neverton, which is about five miles away. Um, not the other side of the town, but certainly five miles away from here. It was driven over there. Another car was stolen. So that's three cars I had in one night. From there, they clocked my car. And I'm not sure if they used the SIM that's inbuilt to it um, to triangulate the position of it or, or what they did, didn't say. But he's saying they tracked it to, after Neverton, the A1. They, I think he said he caught it on cameras as well, but the plate at that point had been changed, but obviously they, they were still using this triangulation, I guess. Um, the last reported area was Chigwell, Essex area. Now, I know that area has a lot of trouble with car crime and chop shops, basically. And Tilbury docks are very close to that area, so they're pretty certain because they they've had a lot of cars stolen around here lately they're pretty certain it's an organized gang which we knew anyway he was saying upwards of 30 cars have been stolen you know over the past week week and a half 
around this area or 50 miles of this area so it's it's a big ring um, obviously so long story short I'm guessing what's happened is the car has gone somewhere in Essex it'll be broken down chopped up stuck in a container go out of Tilbury docks not the end of the story um, obviously this is going to take weeks months to sort out with the insurance um, police visits on shore police chats that sort of thing um, it had a personalized plate on it um, that I've got to apply to the DVLA to keep uh, so that's another 80 quid I've got to pay them because what they're pretty much insinuating is I've got to remove it for that car before I can put it on another car but that's going to take six months there's, there's a gap for some reason and I've got to pay 80 quid for the privilege so it's financially not good not good at all I doubt the insurance will pay out what we paid for it um, the car we took a long time to find it was the only car that me and the wife agreed on that we both liked both enjoyed driving both wanted both uh, both were happy with and both when we did the test drive it was the only car out of probably 20 cars we drove that put a smile on her face it's a lovely car it took a long time to save up for it we paid cash didn't have credit or anything on that which in hindsight now is a good thing um, but yeah we paid cash for it um, cherished it looked after it you know it took us a long long time to to get to that point in, in our life um, and we've had some bangers over the years so that's it at the moment the car hasn't been found um, I've got no updates from the police yet and they did take what footage and evidence I had uh, as well as other people in this area um, the other guy where his car got stolen there was some ring footage there and obviously somebody over the road captured them as well so they've got all that footage doubtful they'll ever get prosecuted that's the way things go isn't it but anyway that is it for now if I get any more updates I'll let you know um, I might slow down with the videos a little bit because I say I'm not feeling 100% yet and I don't want to push it and get ill again um, at my age you've got to be careful <laughs> but anyway thanks for joining me thanks for sticking with me and um, if there's any good news, I'll share it with you. Bye for now.